It's stage four of the 2017 Tour of Utah, a flat day with 199 kilometers on tap. That's 123 miles for the professional peloton. Now watch actions, Hoggins Berman. That's Chris Lawless in the white sprint leader's jersey as he gets dropped off by his action Hoggins Berman teammate. But watch Mikael Rehm in the, the green helmet just behind him as they go all the way to the right side of the road. Rehm ends up in the gutter and launches a protest with the officials on the line. Chris Lawless was relegated for this sprint. He had all the points taken away, so Rehm ended up with maximum points, and Ty Magner, who was fourth in the sprint, ended up moving into third. So uh, Lawless punished for that sprint coming across across the line. There are your six. Taylor Sheldon, Lorenzo Rota, Gonzalo Serrano, Daniel Turek, Marco Zapparella, and Brian McCulloch. Holding on to a gap right now of uh, what is holding steady over the last uh, few meters of uh, right around five minutes. But Sheldon is not riding uh, in a GC capacity. And here goes the attacks coming out of the group. All right, this one is starting to fall apart because now Lorenzo Rota has attacked the breakaway. And they try to respond. McCulloch is trying to get back up onto the wheel, but Rota has had enough in this group. He realizes that riders are starting to skip poles. All right, this is it. These two guys all in from the breakaway. Lorenzo Roto and Gonzalo Serrana, an Italian and a Spaniard, leave their breakaway companions behind as they make the left-hand turn. This is the split that they've been waiting for in the group. It's now two leaders, four chasers, and then the rest of the peloton. They're going to come to an agreement here. The handshake between Rota and Serrano, that tells us that is it for the break of two. What a day it was. 1.3 kilometers. Now they are one kilometer to go. Now it's a final drag race all the way to the line. This Hollow Esca Citadel could barely stay on the wheel of Robin Carpenter. He's not going to have anything left. Now it's up to United Healthcare leading it out. Action Hoggins Berman on the right hand side, and Magner starting to move up. Well, that is Travis McCabe, number 25. Has he gone too early? As McCabe is going to get the drop off from a long way out here inside 800 meters now. Oh, here comes Lawless up the right hand side. Lawless gets the perfect lead out from his Action Hoggins Berman teammate. Michael Rice will drop off Chris Lawless to the line as the British rider. But here comes comes Travis McCabe. McCabe makes a surge up the left-hand side. The United Healthcare rider goes right up the middle of the group. Will he be able to hold on? Here's the surge to the right-hand side. Heidi Risco Citadel is there. And John Murphy wins today. Murphy wins for Hollow West Coast Citadel. Murphy really showing how strong and fast he is. Congratulations from his entire team. 2016, a fantastic year, winning a stage of Lankawi and of Sun Tour. In 2017, he could put Tour of Utah onto his resume. There's your top five. Alfredo Rodriguez ends up second. Mikel Reim ends up third on the podium after all the work from the Israel Cycling Academy. Well, here's your GC situation heading into what will be stage five tomorrow. Not much changing here. Gavin Mannion still in second, 26 seconds down on Britain. Sergey Venkov holding on to third, and then Kyle Murphy and Nielsen Palace. So almost identical to the results coming out of the time trial yesterday.